close out some of this leg ride stuff because I want to spend a good chunk of time that next session on defending legs and crab riding, okay, and, and doing a little bit of bottom work. Now, this is a little bit of a safety drill, all right, and it'll lead right into what we're going to do with leg defense. I'm not a big double boot guy, okay, come on, Ezra. And this is why, I know something I was talking to Joe and his dad about last night, something me and Chris Perry um, argue about all the time. He's a two-time NCAA champ for Oklahoma State. He's a good friend of mine. Um, but he, he's an amazing leg rider. Double boots, won him a national title. His first national title, I think, over Matt Brown from Penn State. All right? They're, he's big on double boots, so just get flat. All right? And, and I don't mind double boots, but in my opinion, when I got both legs in, this is a, this is a very punishing ride. Okay? When I have double boots. But I'm limited to what I can do. Now it's decent for setup and it's decent for wearing this guy out. But if I just get a half and I'm trying to pull your arm in and I'm trying to pin this guy, I've either got to break his back to keep my double boots in or I have to take a leg out to finish putting him on his back. Okay? But one thing double boots are good for is breaking the guy down. And it's good for punishing a little bit. There are turns with the double boots, but I like the flexibility of the short leg ride because I can control his hips, in my opinion, just as well, and I'm way more versatile from, from a single leg ride. But this is a good instance of what we're going to use double boots for. So up in your base, all right? So I'm going to jam. I'm going to swing my boot in. This guy's going to try to put my hips high, okay? Yeah. See, I don't even have to tell him to try pot up. He's going to try to put my hips high. Anybody ever got a reversal on a leg rider by getting your butt up in the air and they kind of slid off your back and then you kind of scoot out the back door and get skinny, right? We'll start doing some of that with our leg, leg defense, but we're going to be way more technical. But this is a good drill, spin, all right? So I'm going to jam. I'm going to throw my boot in. Right when I throw my boot in and get my safety right here, he's going to shoot his butt up in the air and I'm going to cross my ankles. See how I cross my ankles and it locks me into his body? Now my hands are going to grab his wrists. Second boot's going to come in, and right here I'm going to arch and yank his wrists. Now, we're not going to drill that because it's really, really, really bad for your low back. In a match, it is what it is, player. All right? Okay? But that's how we're going to do it. But the reaction drill is the important part. Crossing my ankles. Did you see how I crossed my ankles and I couldn't slide any further? All right, that's the reaction drill. All right, so referee's position. All right, we're gonna double thigh try jam. When we drill in a second, we're just gonna start here. Okay, we're gonna start here. And then when he gets his butt up, I'm just gonna get used to crossing my ankles. Then I'm gonna attack the wrist, then I'm gonna go double boot. I'm not gonna arch and pull him down. We're just gonna get that second boot in. All right, but at this point in the, in, the, in the camp, you should know how to engage your hips and arch your back. We're just not gonna do it now because I don't want anybody to get hurt. Any questions? But that reaction is important. So partner, they're going to jam, they're going to throw the, throw the boot in, we're going to get set right here, and then all, now, all I want you to do is just shoot your butt up in the air. Okay? Top guy, it's going to be your responsibility to cross your ankles quick. I don't want you to grab the wrist until you get your ankles crossed and your control, then you can grab the wrist and go other boot in. Do not double boot and arch pretty please. What's up, coach? Uh, this, and this may be the next session, but guys with a little bit shorter arms that can't get over there to get to that, do we have a good counter for these guys too? Oh, did you say you have one? To, like a few of these guys, they, they don't have long enough arms to get right. over there and get to those wrists. Right. We, I mean, in this position right here, so you're talking about, go ahead, yeah, you're, you're talking down. about not being able to grab the wrist here? Yeah. That's okay. A hard time getting there. So. Okay. All right. Yeah, if, you're, if we're struggling there, we can explore some opportunities. I, 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 don't, I don't mind so much. I mean, I don't mind so much if I'm crossing my ankles here. Go ahead, get up. And cross my ankles here and go on like maybe side headlock and arching. All right, if your arms are too short. Um, if, you, if you think your arms are too short to grab the wrist, holler at me. And let's figure out a solution there. All right, if, if we can't get to the wrist. And if, if you already got a solution, let, let, let's see it. Questions? All right, get set. Get set. You're good.